Welcome back to Serendib Aquatics. Today, we're spotlighting one of the most dazzling nano kerosenes in the hobby, the coral red pencil fish, Nanostomus mortenthalari. Unlike boisterous tetras, this species is calm, refined, and a stunning centerpiece for black water and planted aquaria. In this guide, everything is covered. Origin, appearance, behavior, water chemistry, diet, breeding, and fry care. So by the end, keeping and even breeding coral red pencil fish will feel achievable. Let's start with their origin. Coral red pencil fish hail from blackwater tributaries and swamplands of the Peruvian Amazon, especially slow, tannin-rich backwaters with dense marginal vegetation. These waters are very soft, acidic, tea-colored from leaf litter, and shaded. Conditions that should be closely replicated in aquaria for long-term success. According to their appearance and behavior, Nanostomus mortenthaleri is a compact top midwater species, typically 2 to 3.5 centimeters, famed for vivid coral red striping and a characteristic pencil fish hover posture at a slight head up angle. Males are more intensely colored, often showing a pale white spot near the front base of the dorsal fin. Females are fuller bodied and comparatively subdued. Behavior wise, they are peaceful but males can spar. Larger groups diffuse aggression and bring out the best color and display. Now we talk about tank setup. It should be soft, shaded black water. Use a dark substrate. Heavy planting with fine-leaved plants, floating plants for shade, driftwood and leaf litter. Catapa slash Indian almond leaves. Provide gentle filtration, air-driven sponge preferred, and minimal surface agitation to keep them comfortable near the top. A tight-fitting lid is essential. Pencil fish are quick jumpers, especially when startled. Now we talk about water chemistry. Target soft, acidic conditions. pH 4.5 to 6.5. Slightly higher is tolerated, but lower. Tannin rich water brings peak condition. When breeding, pH should be as low as 5. Hardness very soft to soft, up to approximately 5 degrees. DGH is ideal. Keep TDS low. Temperature 24 to 26 degrees Celsius ideal, 22 to 28 degrees Celsius tolerated. Mature stable aquaria are best. Use botanicals, almond leaves, alder cones, peat, to supply humic substances and gentle antibacterial benefits. Now we are talking about group size and tank mates. Keep in groups of 10 plus to reduce male on male fussing and to encourage natural schooling and courtship. Suitable companions include other small, peaceful blackwater fish, tiny rasboras, small tetras, hatchetfish, and gentle bottom species, pygmy, corridoras, that won't outcompete them at the surface. Avoid nippy or boisterous tank mates and heavy flow. Diet is an important thing for maintaining their natural color. Coral red pencil fish are micro predators that thrive on small, live, and frozen fare. Baby brine shrimp, cyclops, daphnia, and finely chopped bloodworms. They often accept high quality micro pellets and crushed flakes once settled, but frequent offerings of live frozen foods intensify color and conditioning. Offer small portions two to three times daily. Avoid overfeeding to maintain pristine water quality. Sexing is a bit difficult, but at the adult mature stage, it is easy. Males, slimmer, brighter coral red coloration and often a pale white spot at the anterior dorsal fin base. Females, slightly larger abdomen, rounder profile and paler tones. Color saturation increases with rank, courtship and perfect water conditions. Breeding of coral red pencil is the hardest procedure I have ever faced in my nano fish breeding life. Breeding is achievable but delicate. They are egg scattering spawners with no parental care. Set up a separate dim breeding tank with very soft acidic black water, dense fine leaved plants or java moss, and a marble mesh spawning grid bottom to protect falling eggs. Use an air driven sponge filter 
and raise the temperature to approximately 26 to 28 degrees Celsius to stimulate spawning. pH should be 5 to 5.5 and TDS value should be below 100. The tank should be full of tannin color. You can use various types of egg traps for better output. But with a tank full of plants, it may be enough for the survival of the eggs. They lay eggs usually at night. Spawning behavior. Condition a group with live foods for one to two weeks. Use a ratio of one male to two or more females to reduce pressure. Pairs a line and quiver. The female releases a few eggs at a time among plants while the male fertilizes them, repeating in bursts. I feed them mosquito larvae one week before putting them into the breeding tank. Then my female fish are full with eggs. You can see it in this video. I already set up several egg traps for breeding them. When they settle in the breeding setup, you can trigger them for spawning. Bring the temperature down to 23 to 24 degrees Celsius by using cool RO water. I prepare 5.5 pH tannin-rich RO water and cool it to 23 degrees Celsius. Then remove 40% water from the tank in the morning hours. Then you can see the breeding behaviors in the evening. Initially, the male fish get brick red color. You can clearly see this in my video. Then you know they may be going through the breeding process. Male fish do the courtship dance in front of the female and touch her belly. After several hours, usually at night, they spawn. Female fish go through dense vegetation and stay in a good place for spawning. Male fish push the female toward that dense vegetation and the female releases a small number of eggs. Without an egg trap, we are unable to protect that small quantity of eggs. After half an hour later of spawning, both of them are eating their eggs. Remove adults immediately post-spawn to prevent egg predation. Egg and fry care is also difficult. We should keep the same water parameters throughout until the fry reach the free swimming stage. Incubation is typically 36 to 72 hours, depending on temperature. Fry become free swimming a few days later. Start with the smallest live foods, infusoria, paramecia, rotifers, or vinegar eels. Then transition to newly hatched baby brine shrimp as size allows. Keep lighting low water stable and clean, and flow gentle. Frequent small water changes with preconditioned, same parameter water are critical. I have some important tips for you. Use abundant floating cover to calm fish and deepen color. Blackwater botanicals improve conditioning and spawning response. Replace gently as they decompose. Quarantine new arrivals. Many pencil fish are wild caught and appreciate time to adapt to prepared foods. Whenever possible, seek responsibly collected or tank bred stock to reduce pressure on wild populations. Prioritize acclimation and slow parameter shifts. Stability and maturity matter more than chasing exact numbers. And that's everything needed to keep and breed the coral red pencilfish, a tiny showstopper for blackwater and planted aquaria. If this guide helps, hit like, share it with fellow aquarists, and subscribe to Serendib Aquatics for more rare species spotlights and breeding walkthroughs. Questions or success stories are welcome in the comments. Let's keep the knowledge flowing.